Seriously? You gave up the Suicide Squad on what was once a great TV show like this for this? Oh, critics, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna hurt you really, really bad. Suicide Squad, directed by David Ayer, starring Will Smith, Margot Robbie, Jared Leto, Jai Courtney, Joel Kinnaman, Carol Delevingne, Jay Hernandez, among others. So Suicide Squad is the next movie in the DC Cinematic Extended Universe where a government organisation known as Argus, led by Amanda Waller, forms Task Force X, a group of some of the worst criminals around in the DC Universe, However, they are hired to take down an even greater evil as the Suicide Squad. Now, first things first, does this movie deserve the bashing it's been getting from critics? Definitely not! Oh, is it a perfect movie? Definitely not, as it does have a lot of problems. But we'll talk about those later, as I want to talk about the good first. First off, props to Will Smith as Floyd Lawton, aka Deadshot, as he really did immerse himself in this part while also keeping a few of his trademark Will Smithisms. Margot Robbie was also perfect as Harley Quinn, which was the biggest relief for me as in the trailers she didn't come across as crazy enough to me, but trust me guys, in the actual movie she just really does bring this character to life. And also the rest of the cast fill out their roles pretty well, particularly Viola Davis as Amanda Waller. And how scary is she? Well, let's just say I'm glad she wasn't my head teacher in school. This movie is also really funny throughout and is a very quotable movie with its one-liners. Also, Ben Affleck just absolutely shines as Batman once more for the scenes he is in. Okay guys, I did say I would talk about the problems here and I'm sorry but I do have to address them. But I can safely say this. This is still the Superior Suicide Squad movie, so watch it if you haven't already. So with that said, let's just get this out of the way. First off, the editing is just so over the, all over the place that it doesn't give the story a chance to flow as a coherent narrative and comes across more as a six-year-old editing a movie in Windows Movie Maker. And also, I hate to say this, and it truly pains me to say this, but... Jared Leto is the weakest Joker I have ever seen in live action, but that's because he's very underused and is given very little to do with the scenes he is in. And Cara Delevingne I just didn't buy as Enchantress at all, I'm afraid. And also, they really butcher the Joker and Harley Quinn's relationship from the comics, but I can't go into details as to why without spoiling it. But having said all that, I still had a lot of fun with this movie, and I still encourage you guys out there to go and see it if you haven't already. Just ignore the critics for this one, form your own opinions, and I promise you might actually enjoy yourselves. My final verdict is an 8.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching this, guys, as always. Now it's over to you, so feel free to comment below and tell me what your thoughts are on Suicide Squad. And thanks for watching DC Week or this week for you guys who have. And as always, guys, don't forget to click here to see more and subscribe. And as always, I shall see you all on the next one and take care.